Hello, my darlings, and welcome. In this video, I share a magical bit of Blue Moon art witchery with my spell intentions woven into the tapestry of a weaving project. Let's do some magical crafting. Before I share this art witchery Blue Moon spell, I want to let you know that if you are inspired to create this weaving project and do your own spell work on the Blue Moon, I've created some kits for this project. Several people mentioned wanting to do a group Blue Moon ritual or spell. And I understand that most folks would not want to buy five entire skeins of yarn to do this project when they would only need a few yards of each yarn. If you are interested in a magical crafting project kit, I will link to it below the video. To begin this project, I'm starting with an 8 inch wooden embroidery hoop. I'm creating a weaving loom by tying on some navy blue yarn and wrapping 27 warps around the hoop. No matter how many times you wrap your warps, it's crucial to end up with an odd number of them. Once you have an odd number of wraps, tie off the yarn and put the outer embroidery hoop on and tighten it down as tightly as you can. Then take the navy blue yarn and wrap it around the center where the threads intersect, causing all of the warps to come into line. You can center the knot in the middle of the embroidery hoop, or you can tie them together slightly off-center, as I have done. Once the center wraps and knots are tied, take the remainder of the blue yarn and begin weaving it in and out. As a lefty, it was most comfortable for me to move from left to right, and this clockwise or DSL direction is an auspicious direction for bringing something into your life. If your spell is to banish or remove something, consider weaving counterclockwise or Wittershins. When you want to change yarn, simply tie a new piece of yarn onto the current one. Just make sure that the yarn ends and knot are placed on the back side of the weaving. I like using variegated yarn because it changes color on its own without having to continuously tie on new colors. Variegated yarn also creates kind of a spiral pattern in the weaving as well. The idea of doing a blue moon spell came up during a live stream planning for August. I noticed a second full moon in the month, a blue moon. Someone commented that blue moon magic is supposed to last until the next blue moon. On average, a blue moon occurs once every 33 months, and that's almost three years. That really piqued my interest and led to a discussion of what kind of spells we would like to do with that kind of time horizon. We began discussing how to create a group ritual for the Blue Moon and the intentions that people might have for a three year long spell. After the live stream, I began to think about creating an art witch project for the Blue Moon, something that everyone could participate in individually, and I settled on a weaving spell. This project is something that can be done for an hour or so over the three nights of the full moon. Because a blue moon occurs only once every 33 months, it's important to take some time to consider what kind of magic you'd like to manifest over that kind of long-term 
nearly three year time frame. Before I started this weaving spell, I spent some time reflecting and thinking, as well as journaling, about what my spell intention would be. What is my most important long-term intention for a three-year period? I recommend that you really take the time to determine your true will and intention and get clear about what you wish to manifest in the future. Once I came up with my spell intention, I wrote a series of chants or mantras or affirmations about my intention. I repeated these phrases throughout the weaving process, weaving my intention into every row of yarn. You may wish to phrase your affirmation or chants in a simple and straightforward manner as you'll be repeating them hundreds of times. After each mantra or affirmation, I added the phrases, this is my will, so mote it be to reinforce each statement. You may wish to dress a candle and burn a spell candle while weaving your blue moon. You might wish to burn incense that corresponds to your intention or play music that sets an appropriate mood. You may even wish to do this project outside in the light of the full moon. I found that the process took just over four hours and then it might be easier to split up the project over the three nights of the full moon. Once you have completed your moon, it's time to transition into the night sky. I did this with some dark blue yarn twisted together with black to represent the moonshine. Then I continued with black yarn to fill up the rest of the night sky around the moon. In various cultures and spiritual traditions, the moon is associated with cycles of renewal and transformation. The blue moon, with its powerful energy, serves as a reminder of the cyclical nature of life in the universe. Just as the moon waxes and wanes, our lives ebb and flow. This celestial event offers a unique opportunity for self-reflection and release. You can use this time to let go of old habits, negative emotions, and limiting beliefs, paving the way for personal growth and transformation. Before the invention of the Gregorian calendar, blue moons didn't exist. They're a relatively recent concept. Because of this, they don't have much symbolism outside of astrology. To be honest, I could not find a source to confirm that magical intentions or spells done on a blue moon will last until the next one. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is that a community of witches wanted to create a group spell or ritual to join energy and to manifest their long-term desires. That kind of positive community environment and gathered energy can supercharge everyone's magical workings. This blue moon will also be a super moon, which won't happen again until 2032. A supermoon appears larger than usual because it's slightly closer to Earth. Because it's bigger and brighter, it's a time of illumination, revealing important information and key actions you should take. It shows us more of what we need to know. We can see our accomplishments, 
we can see the way forward and make plans for the future. Once your weaving is complete, tie off the yarn and weave the end back into the black. Then weave in or clip off all of your tied on ends. The final portion of the project is to add the stars in the night sky with these copper star charms and copper jump rings. Simply open the jump ring, place the charm onto the ring, and then put it on a strand of yarn and close the ring. I decided to charge each of my stars with a specific intention that related to my overall spell work. This way, I added several smaller spells onto the larger one. And here is my completed Blue Moon Woven Spell. And here's a quick look at the project kit in case you want to make your own. It includes an 8 inch wooden embroidery hoop, the 5 different yarns I used in this video, a tapestry needle, step by step instructions, and copper star charms and jump rings. The only things you need to have at home to complete the kit is a pair of scissors and pliers or jewelry tools to open and close the jump rings. I hope this video inspires you to do your own blue full super moon magic this month. I would love to see your project. If you create this kit or create a blue moon spell project of any kind, you can tag it with the hashtag BlueMoonMagic and share it on social media.